We're here at World Famous Blues Blues in India Atlantic, Florida. And we got legendary guitar player, blues singer, songwriter, Joey Gilmore here. Joey, thanks for taking the time with us. Joey, how long have you been a professional musician? Let's see, about 55 years. 55 years, wow. Now, in the 55 years you've been a professional, um, what is your favorite venue to play in and why? I'll never say no. <laughs> but it is one of my favorites. It is one of your favorites? Yeah, okay. Yeah, really What's your very favorite? Very favorite, I would say, Bradford Mill Blues Club in Tallahassee. In Tallahassee. And you were just there, weren't you? Last night. There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> very good. Um, your entire music collection gets white. Which CD or album do you replace first? BB King. And which album? Uh, live at, um, at uh, what's the name of that prison in, uh, in uh, Chicago? What's the name of that? What's the name of that? Little... I can't think of it, but it's a prison in Chicago. Yeah. Okay, so it's a live BB King album. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Um, I might know the answer to this already, but you get a knock on your door, and there's a singer there. He says, Joey, I'm going to sing one song just for you. What is the song and who is the singer? Lou Milton. And the song would be, That's What Love Will Make You Do. Okay. I thought you were going to pick a B.B. King song. I love, I love everything about B.B. King. I don't have any special favorites about B.B. King. Just anything? Anything, B.B. King. All righty. Um, if you could, living or dead, if you could jam with any one person, who would you want to jam with? B.B. King. There you go. Okay. You must be a B.B. King fan. I am. I grew up with B.B. King. Did you ever get to play with him? No, I opened the show for him once. Okay. How about Buddy Guy? No, I, I, I never, never played with him. Never played with Buddy, okay. Um, young singer, guitar player, wants to break into the blues industry. What advice would you have for him? Let me see now. Can I tell you? Listen to everybody and never, never take anything for granted about players, music, because you can learn something from everyone. Okay, very good. That's great advice. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, what kind of music did your parents listen to when you were growing up? My parents were gospel people, were church people. Okay, that's kind of blues. Yeah, yo, that's where the, that's where the blues came from. Right. From the church. Did you sing in church? Yeah, I did. Yes, okay. I did. I did. I, I, I used to sing with, uh, with the gospel quartet that I, my aunt had helped us with. Okay. Very good. And you are born and raised in Florida. Yes. And so is Robert. Robert is yep. born and raised in Florida. Yeah. And how about your nephew? Uh, you're talking about uh, Maurice. Yeah. Dukes. He was born and raised in Florida. Yes. Uh, wow. Beach. Uh, wow. How about Sunny Boy? Sunny Boy. Uh, Northern guy. I think he came. Okay. So he migrated down. Very good. Last question and the hardest one. In your 55 years, I think you said you've been a professional musician. Yes. You've probably done a lot of interviews. Yes. What one question would you like to answer that no one has ever asked you? Uh, I, let me see if I can think about something. Something you'd want to tell everybody that nobody ever asked you about. Nobody ever asked me um, how long do I, I think I would be on stage uh, playing music, uh, and I would say I would, I, I would be on stage and I would get up enough strength to get up on the stage. There you go. That is a great answer and a great question. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to answer this with for us, and uh, we're really enjoying your show and looking forward to the next set.
the way they look at it.